Pork is one of my favorite meats. And for this recipe, I'm gonna show you this wonderful recipe for Iberico pork. So let's talk about this. This is part of the Simply Better collection. So it's a free range Iberico pork chop, part of the Simply Better collection, okay? So it's uh, fed on acorns, grass, that kind of thing. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's the black Iberica, the black Iberican pork there. That's it there, so it's on the chop. So this is an individual chop. I'm gonna show pan fry it. We're gonna put a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, and then we're gonna make a lovely kind of a glaze for it. So really, really simple. Bit of broccoli, some baby potatoes, and it's really quick. So first thing I wanna do is heat my pan. I have water on here because we're gonna blanch off our broccoli, and we're gonna use some nice Irish rapeseed oil. So this is some Derry Karma. So you get a nice high smoke temperature, and that's why I like using some rapeseed oil. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter into that. So when you're cooking this pork, if you can, take it out of the fridge. This is what it looks like, the chop take it out of the packet and bring it to room temperature. We're gonna season it before it goes onto the pan and then we'll make a quick little glaze for that. So it should be lovely and quick and simple, perfect for a barbecue. Lovely for like if you have supper, or if you're having friends around, it's an excellent, excellent, delicious product and it's free range. You have a lovely marble in the fat there. So that will give a beautiful flavor. So it's a very unique product is the Iberico pork, it really is. So good hot pan, we're gonna season up our pork, a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna put in some black pepper. Now, good hot pan is exactly what I want. And then I'll just get my tongs, and then we're gonna pop this on. So the season side first. Okay, so just lift it off on the bone. Here we go, perfect. Now, so that's that. We're gonna season up the other side, and then a little bit of um, black pepper. Now butter, I love butter. The two little pieces of butter, keep the pan nice and hot. We get a nice bit of color, then we'll flip it over. While that's on, we're going to make our lovely little marinade. So, not even a marinade, a glaze. It can be a marinade too. So we're gonna use some lovely Irish uh, products here. So the first one is High Bank Orchard. So when you think of pork, apple works really well with pork. So High Bank Orchard, this is an apple syrup, and it's really lovely with pancakes, and in this lovely glaze that I'm gonna show you now, it is excellent product. And I've used it in quite a few of my recipes, even over drizzled over if you're making pancakes. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's going to give lovely sweetness there. And then this is made by Full On Foods. So it's a ginger and garlic, the ginger and soya sauce. You can put garlic into this, but there's ginger and soya in this. So I'm going to put in roughly about a spoonful of that in there. So one thing about pork, and this particular pork, it takes on a lot of different flavors, which is perfect. I love this spice, and there's a nice bit of a kick. It's a harissa spice from Oko. So these are based in Athlone. And a lot of people have been telling me that they've been using their spices, they're the best. So I'm gonna keep an eye on my pork, I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna put in roughly about half a teaspoonful of the harissa spice. And you can see the lovely color, it's all organic. It's absolutely fantastic. Now you can crush in some garlic into this. I'm gonna put a little bit of thyme. Just before I do that, we'll just flip over the pork using the tongs. Turn it over. And you see that beautiful golden color there? That's exactly what I want. That lovely caramelization. What do you see when we do the glaze? So I'm gonna put in some balsamic vinegar, and this is a three-year-old balsamic vinegar. Again, it has a PGI logo. So we're gonna put in a good splash of this. This will give lovely acidity. You could use the high bank or the simply better cider vinegar if you want to say. Lime, love lime. I'm gonna put in some lime, a little bit of zest. It's okay, just checking that it was on a low heat. So some zest of some lime. You could use lemon, I'm using lime. And then we're gonna put the juice of half lime in here. I don't want it too sharp, I want a little bit of sweetness, I want lovely freshness, and it's a beautiful juicy lime. The half lime is perfect. Now this can be made ahead. You can put in the root ginger, but with the simply better soy and ginger sauce, there's ginger in there already. So there's no need in uh, adding anything extra. Uh, fresh thyme is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm literally gonna pick this off here. So this is from our garden. We just have a little um, couple of polytunnels in the restaurant or just even here at home, we uh, grow some lovely parsley, thyme, rosemary, that kind of thing, and just pick those little leaves off. Now sage is a really good herb, I didn't have any. Uh, it's a herb I don't really use a lot. We all think of sage when we're doing the, the, um, the Christmas stuffing. We're gonna mix this all together and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna literally drain off a little bit of this. So let's have another little look at this lovely pork. So it's the Iberico pork, so it's caramelized, it's still raw in the center. 
I'm just going to drain off some of the fat here. The sound for a plate or a bowl. So we'll drain it down the sink, flip it over, mix this all together. So we've seasoned our pork. So just to recap, high bank orchard, apple syrup, balsamic, the soya, the spices, it's gonna be so much flavor. I'm gonna literally pour this over our pork here. Mmm. Okay. So while that is on kind of caramelized, remember the heat is on low, we're going to just warm up our potatoes, which I've already par steamed, I'll talk to you about them in a minute. And um, some boiling water. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna do this lovely sprouting broccoli. Now you can just serve this with green beans or crochets, whatever kind of vegetables you like. Uh, mashed potato, whatever you want to. Uh, so can I just show you what I want you to do when you're doing when you're doing this in the pan? We call this basting. So with a spoon, you're gonna spoon on this lovely glaze. So spoon that over there. And then you can just literally flip over your pork. Now. So there we go. So we just spoon that over. That lovely glaze there. And then we're gonna just do our lovely potatoes here. So it's super, super quick. The glaze will reduce, so it will, and you get it lovely and sticky. And then you get that little bit of heat from the harissa spice you do. So let that cook away. The broccoli is on, that's cooking up nicely. These are little baby potatoes, I just steam them. So this is my steamer here, it sits on the saucepan, lid is on it there. I'm gonna put some butter, obviously, into this. You know me and the butter. A little bit of parsley. I'm going to keep it really, really simple. So probably half of these potatoes will work perfectly. They're already kind of three quarters cooked to the air. So say if you have extra little baby boils, this is a great way of using them up and reheating them. So onto the pan. The Iberica pork, I want to flip it over because I want to get it lovely and glazed and sticky and sweet and sour. All those lovely flavours that work so well. Like this pork on its own is lovely just with some fresh thyme, rapeseed oil, and just literally pan fried or grilled. Or as I say, on the barbecue, it works really, really well. Okay, a little touch of salt, black pepper, and that is our little baby potatoes. Let's flip over our pork. For me, this is the star of the show. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous, look at the thyme. So again, just using your spoon, guys, if you can do this, and kind of glaze this over here. And if you find that it's getting anyway kind of too thick, just I'll show you a little tip. Literally a spoonful of water in here and just get really good in that around there. Now with this pork, you can serve it slightly pink, which is perfect so it is. It's free range so it is. It's, uh, as I say, uh, fed in acorns and grass and all that. And it's a really, really high end quality free range pork. It's uh, the quality of the pork is so important. Right, a little bit of parsley in the top of the potatoes. Uh, this is just some flat leaf, you can use curly parsley. So I'm just gonna literally warm them up and should turn back up the pan. And I'm keeping an eye on everything. So peas, green beans, whatever kind of vegetables you like. I'm not chopping it very fine, just like that. So that's gonna go in and top of our lovely potatoes. Give that a little shake. And this is my small little pan, perfect for omelets or frying an egg, or even if I wanted to do one of the four chops there, you could have done it on that pan, which would be perfect. Just flip this over here. Oh yeah, now we're talking. And again, I'm gonna get a little bit more water, and that's it done, guys. I don't want it too runny, and I don't want it too thick or heavy. So just a couple of spoonfuls of water, and just loosen this up. Yeah. Should be ready to serve. Switch off the broccoli. You can pass it through a sieve. I'm just going to drain off the water. Got to put a little bit of butter in there. So the broccoli should have a little bit of a crunch to it. Mix that there. And that's our lovely pork. I just think the flavour of this is something else. So again, that's what you're looking for there. Simply better launch, just individual chop. They have the rack, they have the little medallions, and it's just a really, really excellent quality pork. I'm going to serve up, I'm going to switch off my uh, pork, get our potatoes, just use my spoon. So we've got a nice little bit of colour and that's from the butter, and if you use butter and oil, it just works so well. 
So I'll switch the pork off, the broccoli is off, and then we're just gonna serve this up here. Parsley in at the last minute. You could use some rosemary, and uh, you could serve this if you wanted to, even with a little bit of rice or pasta. But I think some lovely Irish potatoes. It's hard to beat. So that lovely glaze is all about the really good quality ingredients. That lovely apple syrup, pick that up, it's fantastic. They're wonderful people. Down in Kilkenny, High Bank Orchard, they're just wonderful. So lots of lovely broccoli. So this is a very simple, very rustic dish, but full of flavour. And I mean, if that's what people like, the recipes that I'm doing, like this is something that you can do at home and enjoy. And then we're just gonna lift up our pork. I'm gonna flip it over. Oh yeah. Give a lovely little bit of caramelization there. And then bring this over here, just make a little bit of room. And then drizzle this over. So this can be like a sauce, but it gives so much flavor. We don't want to overpower the pork in any way. Just a little bit more there. And that's it. So that is my um, glazed Iberico pork, and that's the individual chop on the bone with some lovely uh, buttered potatoes with a touch of parsley. And then we have our sprouting broccoli. So enjoy this. And this little glaze that I showed you is lovely with lamb cutlets, or even a piece of steak, chicken breast works really, really well. The acidity from the lime works well, the balsamic, you could use cider vinegar, of course, and then these two products here are excellent. And that's the spice there that gives a lovely bit of a kick to the actual glaze. So try this recipe, enjoy it, and happy cooking, and thank you so much.